He deserves our praise and our appreciation without any boundary. We ask him to continue to shower his blessings upon the noble soul of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, members of his household, companions, and the generality of Muslims in the day of recompense, amen, respected elders, brothers and sisters alike. Today, inshallah, Kareem, the topic of our sermon, culminating from verse of Quran, wa ahsin kama ahsan Allahu ilayhi. Wa ahsin kama ahsan Allahu ilayhi. And be kind as Allah SWT is kind to you. Allahu Akbar. Respected elders, brothers and sisters alike. Kindness is a cornerstone of Islamic ethics. It is a quality that Allah SWT places upon every blessed Muslim. As you have, remember those whom Allah SWT deprived. As I do have, I should remember those whom Allah SWT do deprive. In terms of affluence, we are not equal. We can never ever be equal. In terms of gathering wealth, we are not equal. We can never ever be equal. And Allah SWT, who places you, who places me to wherever we belong, either you are among the top brass, you are among the movers and shakers, you are among the medium, you are among the, floor, the people on the floor, then Allah SWT has been kind to every single one of us. Wa ahsin kama ahsan Allahu ilayhi. Be kind to others as Allah SWT is kind to you. Allah made mention of this to clarify that he does whatever he wants. He says in Surah to Al Imran, in Allah Allah gives to whomever he wishes when it comes to bountifulness, bounties, countless and uncountable money, Allah gives to whomever he wishes. Be very hisab without accountability. Jalla jalaluka ya Allah. And Allah SWT makes whoever you wish it to be poor without anybody having the audacity to challenge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah gives to those who he has given for them to remember those whom he has deprived. That in hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet is the best example of kindness even though he had little. Therefore, you and I to know we are having responsibilities from Allah, children upon our neck for those who have. In another chapter, Allah made mention, For those whom Allah SWT gives in no measure, they should spend in no measure. Whomsoever Allah SWT gives in score and then the small measure, or small quantity, let that person also spend from the little Allah SWT has given to him. Allah SWT has not placed upon any shoulder except that which he has the ability to carry. Now, the best man for our sermon today, coming from our last sermon, we move everything in Paris pursuit from minor sins, minor signs of end time. To major signs of end time, to the reality of Yom al Qiyamah, then we stop at Imma al Jannata wa Imma al Nar. Whether one goes to hell or one goes to Al Jannah, Allah SWT, nothing makes Allah to feel bad for anybody. He has given you an idea opportunity. Part of those things that will make people to be in Al Jannah is Ita al Sadaqa. In fact, if a dying soul would have remembered anything as part of act of ibadah required of him, or required of her at the point of death, that if I should have the opportunity, however little time, Allah is going to give me. Nobody will remember that, oh, if Allah gives me little more time, as I'm dying, I will go to Mecca to go and perform Hajj, no. Or I will go to Mecca to go and do lesser Hajj, no. Or I will go and do this and that, no. That means Allah hints you and I. Then, Prophet Sallam says, the best of all the Sadaqah, it's not the one you are given when you are on your bed, sick bed. A good member of the Ummah, they only remember to give Sadaqah when the doctors perhaps have told them that Aladi is 50-50. What is 50-50? Some, they even said, if you survive till next week, that's the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At that material time, that's when some Ummah Prophet will start weeping. Say, no, Akira me Aladi Wani. I am giving Sadaqah to Masjid of Area 1. I'm doing this. Do it now before you get to that trick of art trap. 
fa asaddaqu wa akum min as-salihin Allah says wala yu'akhir Allah nafsan idha jaa'a ajalu once your time is up Allah will not give you more when my time is up Allah will not give me more because Allah deliberately did not give prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than what we are doing for him if this means to any anything to all of us it means that we need to help ourselves in this state of mess and the state of economic hardship we are facing in Nigeria for those whom Allah has given in no measure don't go and sleep and be snoring that I don't give a damn like some our brothers who said in southwest bam bam ni mele I know my baby in Kama in Kong Kong Allah wa akbar that I don't give a damn as soon as I'm bele food my families are they are okay I can go anywhere. I can eat anything. I don't give a damn. Whoever wants to go and embrace transformer, to go and embrace transformer. Don't get to that level. Don't get to that level. The one Allah has given to you, the Rabb Al Kaaba, not because of your reasoning. It's not because of your certificate. It's not because of your certificate. You see, somebody with third class, but all the people first class owners, elders, they are saying yes, sir, yes, sir, because Allah has written yes, sir, for him right from Al Arsh. Likewise, go to Muslim market. Some people do not go to university. What they are controlling, they are lying. They are far better than the civil servants that are waiting for government monthly. And they, are, they have never attended any university. They don't care about university. Even Allah wa rizuku man yasha. They go in hisab. Don't wait for government alone. Government they be doing. If they do, Allah will reward them. If they refuse, Allah will hold them to ransom on the day of Qiyamah. But don't wait for government. Allah knows that government will do, many people will do, but Allah wants you and not to be part of those who are going to be doing. When you read things online, you go offline, you see things by yourself, just take uh, 30 minutes, one hour drive to Sulega tomorrow, go around within the density of that population, you see people, Allah Akbar. Go to Maraba Yanyan. Don't go to Maitama. Anybody you see Maitama, Alhamdulillah. Except those who came and go, they will come back, they will go back. Go to Bogolada, you see people, as it's raining now, they are happy, they are sad. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi wa jam. You are happy because you are within the masjid, inside your car AC, at home AC, in office AC, anywhere you are good. But they are all, they are merciful, they are good with Allah, but they are not happy because of rain. They are roasting corn. And with them, customers may not come. Then, if it is too moody of Gary, you can afford in your neighborhood, go and give somebody. One moody of rice, it counts a lot. We have seen in the Muslim densely populated community, Wallahi Azim. Wallahi Azim. This is not from radio. In Ja'akum Fasi Kum Binabai, Fatabayanu. We make some positive efforts through Allah to get to the root and get so many disturbing issues, so many disturbing information, so many disturbing matters. Let everybody go back to his place, his base. Remember the village, the day, even if they have not helped you, remember the rejoice the day you are given back to you. Some don't go home at all. Abuja is better. We are talking of Sunnija, Gogolada is better. Go to your locality. Let me go to my locality. What you have seen, somebody cooking in Nalilahu in Nalilahu Rajun. A similitude of what happened during the last time of Umar bin Khattab, radiallahu ta'ala. When people were in a state of Qadma, hunger, somebody was cooking, only stones. And she was pampering her children until they all slept off. When Umar bin Khattab came and asked what was happening, she was lambasting Umar bin Khattab. Not knowing that Omar was the one who was knocking the door. When Omar came in, you don't know who was Omar. Hunger doesn't recognize anybody. Once you are in the state of Kodma, you are hungry. A hungry man is a, is a hungry man. At the end of the day, Omar Bukh Hattab said, What was happening? That my children had hot sweat. Omar Bukh Hattab was that how Prophet Sala handed over the home affair of Omar to me. He had forgotten about us. I only put stone. Umar Bukh Hattab helped the person. We have started saying that within our communities. Wallahi lahmin. If somebody cooks only things, only stones. And one was jailed yesterday. Go and check. Yesterday. Nine months for stealing two, two bags of yam. Nine months in prison because he, st he stole. He stole two, two bags of yam. How many, how many millions, billions people are stealing? Remember those who are not deprived. Because of the situation of rain, it's part of the name of Allah SWT. 
They will call in. May Allah make this challenge to our general for every single one of us. Remember those who Allah deprived from the little Allah given to you. Barak Allah, you will have to feel Quran Azim. When I find you, you have to feel like a dikr hakim. I put a matter of science of Allah from the law. When you have to find you, you have to feel like a dikr hakim. I put a matter of science of Allah from the law. When you have to find you, you have to feel like a الحمد لله الذي كرم بني آدم وحملهم في البر والبحر ورزقهم من الطيبات وفضلهم على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له واحد لا من قلة ومعبود لا من علة أول قديم بلا ابتداء وآخر قيوم بلا انتهاء وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله معلم الأنان بوحي المنان صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آل الأخيار وأصابه الأبرار وكل من سار على نهجه إلى يوم تبنى فيه الأسرار معاشر المسلمين تدبر قول الحبيب المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الرحمون يرحمهم الرحمن يرحمهم من في الأرض يرحمكم من في السماء وتذكروا قول الله سبحانه وتعالى حيث حثنا وحثكم أمرني وإياكم على أن ننفق على الجيران على الأقرباء على الأيتام على المساكين الله أكبر يقول جل شعر في سورة الإسراء وآت ذا القربى حقه والمسكين وابن السبيل ولا تبذر تبذيرا إن المبذرين كانوا إخوان الشياطين وكان الشيطان لربه كفورا عباد الله إن الله مركم أمرا بلا في نفسه وصلنا بملائكته وعملة عرشه وصلت بكم من عيسف وجنك وقال وزا من قائل إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وسلم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفاشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر قيد أعداء الدين وانصر عبادك الموحدين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين اللهم جد العمل والأمان في نيجيريا واجعلها بلدا آمنا مطمئنا رقاء سفاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين اللهم عز زد إحسانك إلينا اللهم زد إحسانك إلينا اللهم زد إحسانك إلينا في الدين والدنيا والآخرة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اسكن جنة الفردوس مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين مع الذين لم تعلم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وعصنا ولائك رفيقا سبحانك اللهم بحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Amen.